The standalone designer is a new feature in Active Reports 14. This designer is an excellent resource for creating ad hoc and WYSIWYG reports. To get started, head over to grapecity.com slash download slash Active Reports to download the new designer. Once you've downloaded Active Reports, open the Active Reports 14 designer application so we can take a look at the design layout. We made the standalone designer the same user interface as the web-based and the Active Reports JS designer. Users will have the same experience no matter which one they use. There are slight differences between each of the designers. These modifications better suit the platform you are working with. An advantage of using this versus the classic standalone designer is that the building reports takes less time. The organized and modern layout helps users access the features they need for building their report. Another benefit to the designer is that it's compatible with all report types, including section reports. First, let's take a look at the ribbon tab up top. We have a file tab that shows you how to create a report, close a report, save a report, and load a report. We have also added a recent file section for you to access your recent reports. The Home tab contains all the reporting elements to build the report. The Layout tab includes all the formatting and layout elements of a report. The Report tab includes additional functionalities, such as adding a header, adding a footer, report parameters, embedded images, report properties, style sheet editor, and master reports. The Script tab allows you to use custom code and expressions. In the classic standalone designer, the Script tab was located at the bottom of the designer, and we moved it up top so that we can keep everything organized. Lastly, we have the Properties pane and the Report Library to the right. If we select the Menu button up in the left corner, you will see the Preview button, Report Explorer, Group Editor, Layers, and Report Controls. When you head over to the Report Explorer, you'll see a plus icon which will give you the option to add a data source, add a parameter, embed an image, and embed a style sheet. If you select any of these options, you will notice that the setup is similar to how it was in the classic standalone designer. Next, we'll look at the section report designer setup. Similar to before, we have the File tab, Home tab, Layout tab, Report tab, Script tab, Properties pane, and Report library. If we select the Menu button up in the left corner, you will be able to see the Report Explorer and the Report controls for a section report. From here, I'm going to show you how to bind data to the section report. You can do this by heading over to the Details section on the report and click the Database icon. That will bring up the Data Source dialog and allow you to begin configuring your data source to your report. To learn more about the standalone designer and for additional videos and demos, visit grapecity.com slash active reports.